Welcome back to Fly Tying and ITV, interactive television for Fly Tying. We're here at Fly and Shot Outfitters again, home of Bobby Gray, Bobby's friend here, uh, Kenny McMahon. How you doing, Kenny? Pretty good. What are we tying this week? This is the Dead Drift Crayfish, and I'm going to be tying on a Tiemco 5263 size 8. And you can tie this fly, range uh, 4, 4 to 10. So, And trout love crayfish. I've cut open a couple of trout myself, and I found a... Uh, Crayfish in almost every trout I've cut open. They seem to love those things. Uh, they're pretty, uh, since uh, pretty easy snack just to grab off the bottom. Probably pretty tasty too. I don't know myself personally, but. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be tying this with uh, red six aught thread. And I just started, started tying this towards uh, the back of the hook shank. And uh, your first step, you're going to get some uh, orange marabou. This is gonna represent the tentacles uh, towards the back head of that crayfish. When you say crayfish, now do you ever call it crawdad growing up? Uh, <laughs> when I was little. Now that I'm a little older, I say crayfish. Now that you've Just, been educated? Yeah. Okay. I still say crawdad every now and then. I'm still a good person. And then you want to get some uh, flashaboo, just to get some uh, just get some flash to entice that fish a little bit, so your uh, your crayfish stands out from all the rest. And um, I'm just gonna cut this about the same length as the hook shank. And um, now that I have that that done, and I have this platform built up, I'm gonna tie my bead eyes on. Is that a standard size bead head eye? Is that just uh, they come in one size? Well, this, uh, it comes in a chain, and you'll just cut them off in every two. Right. So this, I, this um, I think they come a little bit bigger, but for this size fly, I use this, because when this, when this sinks, you're going to, um, it's going to give it that, it's going to sink flat. Okay. I'm gonna get some of this thin skin. Almost forgot it's uh, this gives it that molted back of that crayfish. And uh, when you peel this off, it has this shiny look to it. Yeah, I've never I've never seen this thin skin material before. It looks pretty cool. It's almost looks like you've epoxied the whole fly, but you don't have to. Exactly. You don't have to wait five minutes in order to, every five minutes to tie a fly anymore. Just cinch that down. And then leave that go. And this is where the chenille comes in. You'll just tie that to the front. And wrap around these eyes. So it builds up. Because this is the head. You want mm -hmm. that head thicker than your tail. So, And now you got that tied down. So what you want to do when these, this is a uh, rabbit hair mm -hmm. and strips, and you're gonna tie, tie this down right over this, right over these eyes. Just lightly cinch that down. By the, you wanna grab that by the tip. Nails getting in my way. All right, so that's one crawl, and now the other one you want to lay right across that. So you said crawl right there. You said crawl. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, so now that you got these uh, the claws of the cra the crayfish on, you want to get some of this wire, and it's going to segment the body later on tie that down the standard black wire yeah uh, well this is smaller just because you it's you necessarily don't want this to be seen it just sort of indents on that thin skin to make it look uh, like it has those segments on the body so you don't want it to be like all 
big and bulky. You'd want it to be pretty subtle. Okay. And now, uh, after this, you want to get a feather. It's just standard hen hackle. And tie that on. And this is going to give it those uh, legs of the crayfish. And tie your thread forward to the eye of the hook. And now, you'll take your uh, chenille. Wrap your body forward. Tie this off. Cut that. And now you'll get your feather. And wrap this. It looks like a bunch of lugs sticking out, huh? Exactly. You'll cut that tag end off. Now in this step, you can tie half itch. So when you flip your fly over, uh, your thread won't go all and all your stuff will go everywhere. So you'll flip this over. And, uh, well actually, you can just, now that, because I tied my legs on earlier, don't, you'll just get your, uh, thin skin and fold that over and tie that off pretty pretty good because yeah. you don't want that slipping and now with this wire I want to wrap that and it looks all epoxy shiny like but it's instant thin skin exactly tie that wire off Cut that as close as you can. Put a couple half inches on. Clip that off. Put some head cement on. That's your fly. Great. It's a it's a pretty cool looking fly. It's uh like I said, I've cut open a couple of trout myself, and you always find these uh, crawdad crayfish, crawfish, whatever you want to call them, inside their bellies. It's a very cool looking fly. I guess if you want to impress your, your friends, this is a, a fly that you can tie for them and, uh, and it's going to stand out in your fly box as well. Thanks a lot, Kenny. It's been another episode of Fly Tying on ITV. All these materials uh, can be found at flyandshot.com. All the specific ingredients can be found on our website, flyfishingontheweb.com. Click on the Fly Tying section. Until next time, tight lines, everybody.